Hey everybody, this is Arathus and welcome back to Foundation, where our big goal is going to be to try, try, to finish our monastery. It's gonna take a while, but that is our current goal. We also have a bunch of other things going on uh, now that we have uh, these other regions to expand to. So yeah, hopefully we can get that going. Now, we also can finally unlock the Hunter's Hut, which is not something I've actually used at all. I kind of feel like that's something you want to install somewhere that has a lot of forest. Might actually go pretty well in our, you know, little nature preserve over here. But I feel like if we're going to do a Hunter's Hut, this is probably a good spot right here. Turn that off, and now what we can do is we can put a hunter's hut here, here, and maybe one like right here. Because then they can hit all these different forested areas, right? So that yeah, seems like it would work out well for us. I'm going to put a well here, and we're also going to put in a market for all the people that are going to be working over here. So a food, food and goods market all right here and yeah I think that'll go well let's go ahead and paint down a hunting zone though I don't mind if it's this entire zone frankly as long as it hits all those trees and frankly if they want to come down here and hunt in all of this they are more than welcome I granted they're not gonna get much to hunt in certain zones uh, specifically you know the residential up there did that actually get rid of an extraction zone it feels like it did so if I were to get rid of the hunting zone is the extraction zone still in Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to actually clear this out then. Because I would much rather this area be focused on extraction rather than hunting. That's what this whole area is for in the first place. So yeah, let's go ahead and clear that up right now. because I don't know if that interferes with other tasks I'm also going to do that yes you can get that you can hunt in these woods I'm assuming they need woods to hunt I don't know if that's actually true but that's what I'm assuming what about residential do we do we still have residential zones painted in here? Ooh. Hey, let's, again, let's remove this hunting zone. I think what it is is the tool is also removing, like, when I remove a, that zone, what's it called? Uh, when I remove a hunting zone, I think it's actually taking a bunch of other stuff with it. I think it's deleting all the zones underneath it, which is unfortunate. Either way, yeah, it should still work out. Now, I am a bit concerned about the complete and total lack of me being able to acquire enough fish to finish this job. I feel like I'm going to have to put in a bunch more fishing areas. Hey, look at that. I can complete both of them back to back. Good. Got new villagers coming. That's good. That's good. I don't have any charcoal burners. Let's fill that slot right now. Be nice to have charcoal running through this place. I'm not going to assign soldiers right now because I do have other tasks I would like to do, like the stonemason. And the stone cutter. I'm not going to max out the stone cutter, though. 
Uh, I still have, like, once the blacksmith shop is finished. Yeah. I'll be working on that. Then I'm going to be working on hunters. How many hunters go into a hut anyway? Ooh, another stonemason hut's completed. Well, I got to wait for more people to get here, so... Eh. <laughs> Let's actually put in a few more fishing huts while we're at it. Because I don't really... I'm not really capable of sticking... You know, of keeping up on the fish production, it looks like. And this is a good place for the fish production. As is this spot. Ah, eh, not there. But I feel like I could probably put in some... Huts right here on the island with our... With our dude here. And I think that's good. It's going to take a while for all that stuff to get built anyway. Because so many of our builders are focused on, admittedly, our really cool looking monastery. Looks like we're having a hard time keeping up with the required planks and normal stone. Well, normal stone, if our people would just haul it over there, we'd be done already. I just hate how so many of our builders are busy on that when we have so many other projects they could be working on. Not going to do stone cutters, but I am going to start assigning some stone masons. Oh, we need more transporters as well. Okay. So our builders are spreading out a little bit more. Very soon I'll be able to actually destroy these two um, lumberjack huts and let them come down here and take over this job. Which is going to be very nice. And these are almost, com all these trees are almost completely gone. That's awesome. And I think the only reason we're able to burn through those trees so much is because we're building the monastery. And the monastery is taking a ton of our resources. Ah, let's put some people in the iron smelter. Dude, I am not giving you any soldiers. Go away, envoy. You don't really help me in the slice. Like, we'll give you a free plot of land. Great. I can buy my own land. I can buy this whole map. I mean, it'd take me a while, but I could do it. Your help is unneeded. I'd also like to see more iron mines, but I'm not... I've only found the one deposit. Which are... Du which this dude built a house on. Okay. <laughs> as long as my miners can still get to it, cool. I don't understand why you would want to build on the iron mine, but okay. It's going to get noisy, going to get real noisy for you, but hey. Are there no other iron deposits? Holy crap. They might be buried in the trees because I found them before by, you know, clear cut. Ah, there's another deposit right there. In the open. But yeah, I found deposits like that before just by cutting out, you know, cutting down the trees. So, huh? yeah. Maybe that's what the game's making me do now. A couple trees about to come down. Three. Nice, nice. Keep cutting. I have need of this land. I really don't at the moment. We got such a surplus of everything we need. Holy crap, that's a big berry deposit. Yeah, I, I'm completely fine with this over here. How are things going over that? Nice, nice. Again, if you guys would just deliver the the normal stone and the planks, man, polished stone. <laughs> we need sixteen hundred of that nonsense. Yikes. So let's see. Uh do I wanna hire the blacksmiths or do I want to Nope, not assigning any soldiers. Let's see if I have more stone. Yep, I can hire another stonemason. Or assign another stonemason. 
and a transporter. I know the transporters are super important. So yeah, let's get that position filled. Now, I really like the look of the monastery. <laughs> I love how the clergy splendor is by far the highest. And I know why it is. The game has not given us the means. I mean, even though, you know, we don't have the means to build, like, a true castle. I mean, the keep here is, like, we can only build it out of wood. And... Even then, we these are the only parts we have. It's like, okay. I mean, I'm sure we'll be, get to build full-on castles, and they kind of help us a little bit with the manor, but... Yeah, it's... You know... So it's really easy to build up the church splendor, but a little bit harder to build up kingdom splendor. Good, get the last of these trees going. Because then I can easily put like a market in here and turn this into whatever I want. I don't think I need more wheat. Look at our bread surplus. I don't think we need more clothing. But I feel like it might be a good idea to boost both of those production points. So I think what I'll probably do is I'll probably put two farms, well, three farms, a mill, and a bread maker. And then three sheep farms, a weaver's hut, and a tailor. I don't know if that's actually the most efficient setup. But that's what I'm going to give a try. I don't know what the best ratio is, honestly. Alright. I was about to assign another dude to that job up there, but then I remembered we still have a transporter that needs to be assigned. Yeah, didn't think I had any soldiers left. All right, so fishing huts need to hurry, just really need to hurry up. You guys are supplying all the other materials, but it'd be really nice if you guys didn't just be like, okay, I'm going to bring you one polished stone, I'm going to bring you one polished stone. Grab an armful of normal stone while you're at it, Jesus. Okay, so I need to expand the church too, so... Yeah, see, like, that one's bringing 41 planks. That's useful. All right, so we need to increase the church, so I'm going to do that real quick. I don't want to run into a capacity issue. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. No. No. Thank you. Do a round tower right here. And then I'm going to put another core over here. Come on. I think I might just build the core out from here. There we go. One more core should do the trick to getting me enough people to worship here. So many berries. Holy crap, I just noticed. <laughs> wow, okay. Let's focus on the church, please. You guys will be able to finish that quick, fast, and in a hurry. don't want to help any of you. Go away. I mean, I have fish, but I need more fish. And my people are not being all that fast about providing the fish. Alright, so apparently all the gold bars that are needed for this are taken care of. Cool. So use it. 
Uh, I think I also know why we're not buying the glass. There is actually nowhere to keep the glass. Hmm. How about I get rid of the berries? But we change this to glass. Yeah, now that I think about it, most cases they'd be able to store it in the per in the area that produces it. I don't have any bit place that produces the glass, so they had no idea where they were going to keep the glass. So hopefully, this now means the next time we get a trader from that particular city, this one, Allegiance, we should get some fair amount of stuff. We should finally get the glass. I just need to make sure I'm actually buying glass. Buy until inventory reaches value. Yeah, we are buying the glass. Cool. Let's go. As soon as these people get here, I'll be able to assign them to some new jobs. That'll work. Yep, be a blacksmith. Make our own tools for a little while. Okay. Just gonna scroll through here, make sure there's not any jobs I'm missing out on. Woodcutter. Oh, I can actually delete those and actually bring the woodcutters in. Alright, be a charcoal burner. Wow, I had enough people to do to do that. Holy crap. Alright, now. Demolish. Demolish, and then you six will just come down here and pick up your tools at this spot. And you will get to work. Excellent. How's the church extension going? Hey, we're already working on it. Because all the stone was provided. Now we just need the tools. 26, that's a pain. We just need the tools and the planks. Both should be delivered quickly. I think it'll be female number 398. I wish they had names. <laughs> I know why they don't. It'd, be get, it'd get a little confusing once the name started repeating, but still. <laughs> okay, so here come the planks. Yeah, that'll be done very quickly. And I'll be able to assign all these villages. Hopefully we start seeing some completed other structures. They all just want to be the ones carrying that one piece of polished stone. It's ridiculous. And extremely aggravating. I'm actually going to go into trade. Where's our tool thing? I know this is going to cost me a ton of cash. But buy until inventory reaches 200 is the new job. That's simple. It'll make it much easier for us to keep up on this. All right, let's assign a few more villagers. Hey now, keep going. It could just be time to start assigning the Lord Manor soldiers. You guys should not be lacking in food. Look at the sheer amount of food we have. Church? Well, you guys are lacking in church for now. I got a dude on it. Or a lady on it. It don't matter. They're building it as we speak. Then there will be nobody without a place to worship. For now, and then we'll get a bunch more villagers, and then it'll get difficult again. But that's fine. That thing has plenty of room since this is basically a clergy church area. I can keep expanding this all I want in here. I can just end up putting a bunch of core pieces right here in the center and just keep on core, 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 core. 
So yeah, this is going to be the primary spot of worship. Especially since I don't think they can come and worship at the monastery. The monastery is not there for that. It's not there for their benefit. For the villagers' benefit. It's there for the monks' benefit. I, mean, I love that there's a bell tower sound, but I can't hear it, so... Eh. Guess that works. There we go. Yeah, we just made room for another 20 people. Oh, but it says we're lack 16 are lacking now. Ugh. Fine. I'll put another friggin' tower. I'm not really worried about splendor at the moment. I'm more worried about just our people having the space to worship here. Okay, if I'm going to do this, this tower needs to be taller. Start construction. That'll give us another 40 spots for people. I mean, granted, those 16 people should not be lacking in places to go to church anymore. I've kind of fixed it. Kind of. I mean, I'm not sure I like the appearance, but... of how I did that. Eh. It'll work. Hunter's huts should be getting done soon as well. Let's see, are we done up here? We are. It's pretty much just fishermen for now and soldiers. Well, not even fishermen because that stuff's not been completed yet. Okay, I should finish that stone cutter off though. So when these next two villagers get to the village, I'm going to assign them to be stone cutters. And then it's just going to be focusing on soldiers until the hunters, cottages, and everything else are built. Or everything else is built. We'll see. Get in there. There we go. So that thing is finally full. People are still kind of dragging their feet on building that, but that's fine. We have no tools. Jesus. I mean, we knew the monastery was going to be an absolutely massive undertaking, but holy crap. <laughs> At least we're building our own tools to an extent, right? <laughs> Me, it's helping. We don't have much in the way of charcoal, but it's helping. At least something's happening to the wood surplus. Ooh. Are we not reforesting? Oh, it deleted the reforestation zones. That's a problem. That explains a whole lot as to why this area has all of a sudden become much less tree-friendly. Yeah, will you guys plant the trees again? Please? <laughs> We're going to need it considering the... Uh, what do you call it? Considering the charcoal burners and how much charcoal they're burning. What you want? Fish. And look at that. I still don't have the fish. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, well. Our guys will get to it. What do you want?
Guess he got sick of waiting. Be gone then, my friend. Be gone. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet, so we're just going to leave it how it is. For now. I might make another forestry area. I don't think it'll be necessary now that this is here. I did paint over here, right? They are going to reforest right here as well. They just haven't gotten to it yet. Good. Okay, new people are on the way in. Let's go ahead and quickly assign them. Yeah, get the Lord's Manor, I guess, protected? And then each one of those keeps can have 10 troops, so we're going to need a lot of soldiers. 50, in fact. They're not going to get the 50 for a long time. I don't mind seeing them all over the... Yeah, seeing them guarding my manor here. Not at all, but... Yeah, they... Yeah, I just don't need that many of them right now. I don't need to, you know, I don't need to see the ten dudes gathered around this one place. I just don't have anywhere else to put the villagers, and I want them to be productive. All right, you know what? The faith thing is going to become a problem. How about you guys focus on this? You guys have the materials to finish this right now. This can wait. It has to wait. We don't have the materials for it yet. I'm really hoping this unlocks some stuff. I think we've hit all the unlockables the game's going to give us, though. Because I can't get any more up here. Yeah, I can't get the big tower because it's coming soon. I can unlock a weaponsmith later, but that's about it. This is all unlocked except for the monastery's coffee room, which, again, I can't do anything about. So yeah, I think that's all the game's going to let us build for now. I don't want to authorize housing upgrades yet. Because with the monastery being worked on, people will start upgrading their houses and then end up homeless because nobody's working on them. So I also feel like I need to take manual control over, like, sending them out to the hunter's huts and the fishing huts. Which is exactly what I'm going to do once this, this is done. Like, we got people working away. We just haven't had anybody delivering the final ingredients yet. Because we don't have the final ingredients yet. Hopefully we'll get the final ingredients. Hint, hint. Yeah, apparently people don't want to sell us the ingredients we need. No? You... actually see the progress bar filling up at all. Ooh, I can do that to this? I'm going to do that to this real quick. We don't have the materials. Pause the construction. You heard me. Pause the construction. Everybody go do something else. Find other work. Why are you angry? Cool, yeah, they're all going off to do other work. Good. Because we don't have the materials. Let's build up some of the materials, like the polished stone. And in the meantime, you guys can come and finish all the other jobs. Like this. Hey, 
hey, we just got another 50-something tools. Go, go assign them. Carry them over there. Get the church done, and then we can focus on fishing huts and houses and what have you. At the very least, this will make it so I don't have to keep worrying about the uh, having enough church space. Where'd all the planks go? Yeah, these don't need them. Okay. Do this. Great to see new villagers coming in. Not what I'm worried about. Are you guys just bringing tools? Yeah, construction's paused. Leave this alone. Ooh, I can deliver fish finally. Deliver the fish. Church will likely be done soon. Hopefully. All right, we're almost there. Uh, with the church, at least. Hey, but you guys are also focusing on housing. I'm glad you're focusing on housing, but we need the church built. I think they're also going out and building, like, yeah, these little huts. Either way, though, that's about all the time we have for today. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more foundation where hopefully once the church is done and the hunter's huts are done, I'm just going to probably authorize housing upgrades while we stockpile enough resources to finish this because I have to wait. Polished stone is going to take forever, so we need to just stockpile it for now. Either way, we'll see how that goes next time. Thanks again for watching, guys.